What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here with the recent reads on the Batman and Robin Omnibus by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here's the deal. If you are watching this video to determine whether or not you should buy this book, I just want to come out and say outright that if you don't have Death of the Family or... Batman Incorporated, you're going to get lost in this book like I did because I haven't read those two stories. And this omnibus had me like, what the what? A, a couple of times throughout. So I just want to tell you that straight off the bat. And this is going to be like a spoiler filled review because I don't really think I can get my point across without doing spoilers. So just to put that out there, um, the art is good, the writing is good, but this omnibus does it, it does you a disservice by not including the entire story in this book. They should have included those Batman Incorporated issues and those those Death of the Family issues and made this two omnibus. <clears throat> what happens in the beginning, apparently Batman is dead. I didn't know why, I still don't know why. And Dick Grayson is wearing the cowl. Um, then all of a sudden, Batman's back. They don't show you how he's back. He's just back all out of nowhere. And he's, he's, um, it's the early days with Damien as, as Robin. This Batman and Robin book is really Bruce Wayne and Damien Wayne. And that arc is good. The arc with Nobody, who is the son that Bruce trained with. They trained under Nobody's father as like one of the six people that trained him to become Batman. And that stuff was really cool. Uh, I actually really like that arc. And, you know, Batman is still trying to stop Damien from killing people and using his uh, League of Assassin uh, training and, and start being more, you know, with the brute, with the Wayne code, right? Very good father and son interactions there. Great arc. Then all of a sudden... You're thrown into a Death of the Family tie-in. Only the Batman and Robin issue. And what you piece together is that Batman has been Jokerized. And uh, Joker's got Damien fighting Batman to the death. They fight. It's a pretty cool issue. At the end, Damien beats Batman. But they pull off his mask and it's not Batman. Okay, cool, whatever. Next issue, out of nowhere, it's Batman mourning the death of Damian Wayne. They don't show Damian Wayne getting killed. You don't know how he gets killed. You don't know what happens. Bruh. They kill Robin in the Batman and Robin omnibus off screen. Come on, man. Come on, man. So that was my biggest beef. And then a good chunk of this book is Batman mourning the death of Damian that we never see. Batman is super crazy and he goes and tracks down Frankenstein. Come on, man. Frankenstein. And he's obsessed with trying to resurrect Damian Wayne. He um, try he he takes Frankenstein apart and tries to figure out what is the force that keeps him alive but dead at the same time. And then all of a sudden, in the next couple issues, out of nowhere, Ra's al Ghul steals Damian Wayne's sarcophagus and Talia al Ghul's. She's dead off screen as well. And he wants to resurrect Damian Wayne. And Bruce Wayne doesn't want to resurrect him. Like, all of a sudden, he doesn't want to bring him back to life. So it's a bunch of back and forth of the sarcophaguses being stolen and retrieved. And, you know, Ra's al Ghul steals it. Batman gets it back. Then all of a sudden, um, the guy from uh, Apocalypse comes and then he steals it. And then... Batman's obsessed with going to Apocalypse to get the sarcophagus back. And it's kind of like, what? Really? It reminds me of that uh, Finding Nemo fish meme. <laughs> I'll put the hold up. But it's like, bro, it jerks you all around, you know? The Apocalypse stuff was cool, man. Even though it was way out there. And I don't really like Batman being in outer space. To me, if he's not in Gotham, it's like Spider-Man you know, in outer space. It just seems a little off-putting. What's cool about this is that... They end up resurrecting Damien with a shard of some kind of crystal that apparently he had some of that crystal embedded with him while Talia had him in his birthing chamber. 
and he gets born with Superman like type powers. So that's pretty cool uh, that you know Damien has these superpowers. And then I'm thinking, oh, is the Super Sons Omnibus gonna have a powered up Robin? But um, the superpowers only last for a little while, and then he doesn't have them anymore. And that's kind of like the end of the book. So this was a this read kicked my ass. I mean, it's a thick book as you can see, and it was all over the place. It does you a disservice by not having those key tie-ins to why stuff is happening in this book. So, not a book I would recommend for a solo read. I think I'm going to jump... Well, I'm going to read Super Sons next, for sure. But I am going to go read my Batman Incorporated Absolute to see what I missed. But nothing in uh, oversized hardcover or omnibus format that I'm aware of collects Death of the Family. And that's another thing. Like, Death in the Family was the original... Uh, storyline from back in the day and Jason Todd was killed Jason Todd's alive in the new 52 he knows that he died before so then it happens again to Damien I don't know it just seems kind of weird man just wasn't feeling it uh the book has a 125 dollar cover price it collects like 20 something issues of um Batman and Robin let me see if I can find out what it actually collects you know as a terrible annual at the end of them in outer space. Yeah, so what is it? It's um Batman and Robin 20 through 22. I get the feeling that's pre new 52. Then Batman and Robin 0 through 40. Batman and Robin 23.1. Batman and Robin annual 1 through 3. Robin rises omega 1, alpha secret origins 1. And Detective Comics 27, I guess from New 52. Yeah, that's the other thing. Out of nowhere, after... I don't know if it's after the Apocalypse stuff or before it. There's like a drawn-out Harvey Dent Two-Face story. Out of nowhere. That doesn't reference anything that's happening before or after. You know, and I enjoyed the Two-Face story. They kind of changed his... Um, his origins a little bit, but... I just don't get it, man. I didn't really get it. I can't believe I read like 50 issues of this. It was all over the place, this book, man. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the artwork, and maybe I'll uh, recant a couple things. But I actually had pretty good reader's retention on this book. I'm kind of proud of myself. So let's take a look at that and uh, see what you guys think. All right, so here is the front of the dust jacket. I do like the artwork, even the kind of uh, matte black they have here. Here goes the spine. Here's the back. Here's a look at the inside of the dust jacket. Very cool. Batman goes to Apocalypse suit. It's called the Hellbat suit. I liked it. Damien probably makes Robin look the coolest. The hood. All right, the front of the hardcover. Pretty cool. The spine is the same. And then the back. That is the Robin's go to apocalypse suits i guess it's red robin red hood batgirl nightwing but nightwing is not pictured for some reason and then he's grayson all of a sudden with no explanation in this book too pretty cool uh whatever you call that all right you got our credits here ha this if you guys really want to know where I look to find out what issues are in there, uh, the insignia here always shows that. Then you have the contents, which show the issues as well. And the names of the stories and the pages. <clears throat> so I guess the very beginning is the stuff where Bruce Wayne is dead. Or no, maybe he's not. I don't know. Yeah, like so he's not dead in the beginning... Then all of a sudden, he's dead. So, if you don't mind, so, the artwork is great. If you don't mind piecing things together on your own, like I had to do with this book, then you'll be okay. None of the issues do a really good job of recanting what happened in the previous issues. The dog Titus is throughout the whole book. But, you can kind of piece things together. 
This is the character Nobody. I kind of like him. He's got a mask that looks like spider eyes or something. He's a pretty badass character. The book is definitely all over the place. I do really want to read Death of the Family. I've read the Batman issues. I used to have that whole run in singles. But uh, I don't know the whole story. It ruins this omnibus, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, here's the issue I'm talking about, or the issues where Damien has to fight um, a Jokerized Batman. Alright. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like I said... They're just mourning Damien's death. That was terrible. Here's the set up the <laughs> here's the two face stuff. Out of nowhere you get this whole two two face story. It drags on for a few a few issues too, man. McKillen girls or McKillen twins. Tusk. This character was pretty cool. This is showing like, like uh, Damien's first kind of um, missions as Robin, fighting that guy Tusk. No, my bad. That's Dick Grayson. <clears throat> Here goes the Frankenstein stuff. I thought that was super whack. Like really Frankenstein. I mean, I don't know how big of a role he plays in the DC universe, but I thought that was terrible. Here's the sarcophagus stuff. This is our guy, Glorious Godfrey of Apocalypse. He Loki's his way in there out of nowhere. And... He goes to Hellbat suit, going to Apocalypse. Reminds me of like the Asbat, Azrael suit. It is pretty touching when um, Bruce brings Damien back to life. And it's weird, like the two issues kind of show the same thing. <laughs> Which was weird. Well, I guess we'll do spoiler alerts here. Let's see when he comes back to life. Boom, right here. That was pretty touching. It would have paid off way more if we would have seen his death. Then here's the annual and outer space bullshit. That's just all annuals. Alright guys, so that is my recent reads of Batman and Robin Omnibus. A um, little bit of a disappointment. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. If you've read this omnibus or if you know what I'm talking about. If, you were, if you're like familiar with the New 52 stuff. I think I even hit, hit up Manimal. Like Damian Wayne dies and he was like, he didn't even remember. And he's read all the New 52 stuff. Yeah, and it, it kind of comes and goes. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop me a like on the way out. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, which includes recent reads and uh, more. So stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.